Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be syncing right here your Stadia controller with your Mac. It doesn't really matter if you guys have a MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, or any Mac for that matter, it's the exact same instructions. What we need to do first of all is go to your phone or your tablet, wherever you guys have the Stadia app, and from the app itself, you will see this icon on top of here where it's a controller. Just tap on that controller. It's gonna look for your controller. While it's looking for your controller on your Stadia controller, you will press this and Y. Just press that until it starts blinking like so. Then on your phone or tablet, whatever you guys have, you will see this message. Just tap right there and it's gonna tell you this. This is so the controller connects to your Wi-Fi. So as long as you guys feel that vibration, just select yes. And then from here, tell it to connect to the Wi-Fi. Make sure your Mac is connected to the same Wi-Fi that you're connecting your Stadia controller right now. Then it's gonna ask you for your password. So just put that in. Once you put that in, it's gonna do this. It's gonna connect to Wi-Fi. Now your controller should still be blinking. The next step is to link your controller. So just select next. And from here, it tells you exactly this. We can just press done or just leave it alone for now. The next step will be to go onto your computer, okay, into your Mac and go to Stadia that google.com. From there, that's exactly where you would play in Google Chrome. And on the top right hand corner, you're also gonna see that icon, that controller icon. So just click on that controller icon. From there, it's gonna give you this type of code where it's telling me to press exactly this, X, B, and then up. So I'm gonna press on my controller, X, side, B, up. Once I do that, it's gonna send out a signal so it links up right here to my Mac. If it doesn't work right away, you just have to do it again. However, right now we should see this. So let me just scroll out of here. We're gonna see linked. So I'm gonna scroll in again so you guys can see. So it's gonna say Stadia controller linked. So right now without using any wires, I was able to link up my Stadia controller to my Mac right here so I can start playing. To test this out, just scroll down with your controller and you should be able to scroll up and down without touching your mouse. So I'm gonna put my mouse to the side and I can go down and up. So that's how you know it's working right away. Now yes, if this doesn't work, sure you guys can hook it up with your wire. Yes, that's an option. However, right now it's updated so we can use our controller right here, Our Stadia controller wirelessly to play on our Mac. So let's just get started. Let's go right into this game right here and show you that it actually does work. So right now you guys can see the game. I can go ahead and press A. I can continue campaign by pressing A. Again, it's not connected. I'm not using my mouse because it does in fact work and it works pretty, pretty well. And it was about time that Stadia made this wirelessly work because it was kind of annoying just having that cable always plugged into your Mac. So right now, you can go ahead and play without any problem. So you guys can see the syncing works really well. There's no lag on it. I can move up, down, look up, down, up, down, side to side, side to side. Hit that zombie. And there we go. So I just wanted to show you guys that this actually does work. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.